Hello and welcome back at cloudbackuping.com. My name is Mauricio Prinslow and in this video we are finally going to have a look at the highly anticipated and highly rumored about Google Drive. So we are going to have a look at the features and we're going to see how those features work in practice because we've covered the theoretical part in a previous video that I highly invite you to watch. And the only thing that you're going to do right now is basically sign in with your Google ID and and after signing in with your ID, you can have access to your five gigabyte of free storage that come with the Google Drive. So it could be that currently you cannot sign in um, as they are rolling out the product and probably there are some shortages here in their service. So it could be that you have to wait a couple of days until you really get access to your uh, Google Drive. But um, let's have a quick look at the features just in case you haven't seen my previous video. So you can collaborate with many other people creating documents and spreadsheets and presentation. You can actually um, work better with email. If you find yourself sending large email attacks you can do that from within your Google Drive and don't have to worry about your emails getting too large. And if you have lots of files, you can use Google Drive's powerful search to get access to those. And a feature that I highly recommend you uh, trying out is that you can view anything over 30 file types, even Photoshop files and Illustrator files and Camera Raw files. So. Also, Google Drive obviously integrates with the favorite apps that you're using on a daily basis. And also, you can share files and folders with your peers and grant them uh, rights to those files so that you can exactly control who is editing what and who is seeing what. And you can obviously start discussions on those files to track versions and the like. So another feature that I highly recommend uh, you make use of is the file versioning feature that feature allows you to go back in time and restore several versions of your files. So as I said before, the only thing you have to do is signing in with your Google account. And uh, after signing in, you are already be able to access all your files that you have been previously editing with Google Docs because Google Docs essentially becomes Google Drive. So don't you wonder uh, where the Google Docs link is, it is no longer available to you. Instead of uh, browsing docs.google.com, you will browse from now on drive.google.com. But there is no change in your files. All the files obviously are being kept. And now the good part is that you no longer have to manage your files from within the browser, but you can also download the app uh, right to your Mac or PC. In this video, we are going to use the Mac app, but obviously this works analogous for the Windows app. So you just click on the download link and uh, you agree to download and install the software in your PC. So after installing the software, you can see that there is a new folder installed on your operating system, which is called Google Drive. It pretty much works analogous to Dropbox. There is no, not much difference as this uh, seems to be working well for a lot of users and uh, it's synchronized. So it downloads automatically the uh, the folder, the files that you've been creating with uh, Google Docs. So you can really see that it's a Google Docs document because it has a file extension called G Sheet or G Doc so that you can really identify uh, how that works. And now you are basically ready to use your Google Drive, not only with the documents, spreadsheets or presentations, but also with any other file that you like to synchronize or share with other people. So let's create a folder here and uh, let's let's call that folder pictures as we just want to try to upload some pictures to see how the speed is of Google Drive. But I suppose that's going to be good because uh, if somebody can leverage speed in their servers, that's going to be Google. So after creating that folder, I just open another uh, another folder of mine where I've stored some sample pictures and some sample uh, videos that uh, we just want to examine and see how the preview feature works uh, in the web browser. So let's just select a couple of uh, photos here. 
And you can already see the Google icon twirling up on the right hand corner. It is very similar to Dropbox. And if you've been using Dropbox, there is actually not much difference in the usage and you won't have any mm, trouble using Google Drive and uh, Google, Google Drive and Dropbox simultaneously or replace the one service with the other. And unfortunately, I cannot see the exact status of the syncing process. I just can see that it's currently syncing the files and how many files are there to be synced, but I cannot see the speed, for example, with which uh, Google Drive syncs my files. And I would like that because I'd like to have an overview of how that's working. So let's have a look at the web browser and see how my pictures and probably my video files are uh, going to be shown within the web uh, browser because we want to have the preview files. So as I imagine, uh, there are not going to be much problems with JPEG files because this is the basic um, feature that should be working right now. I expect there probably to be some um, troubles with uh, Photoshop files that we're going to test later, but um, picture files should be working just fine. As you can see, you can really comment on those files. For example, we can write, wow, what a great shot, or even say, hey, I want that shot a little bit lighter, or I want this and that edit to be done on that picture. So there is a great uh, variety of uh, possibilities that you can collaborate with other people and and uh, get results at the end. So and you can obviously share that file with a person that obviously then needs to sign up for a Google Drive and to view to view that image. But um, that works pretty well. I've uh, tested that with my other Google accounts and uh, I could access those files without any problem and comment on those files. As we can see, it is still crunching the uh, movie files. Uh, so let's just pause the video here for a second and resume later. So now it has been uh, uploading all the videos and we can just preview a movie file and here we can see the popular YouTube video uh, video player, but uh, that does not mean that it is actually publicly available on YouTube. It just means that it is using the YouTube engine to encode your videos and make a preview off of those videos. So um, that is working fine. and. Another thing that I was really uh, anticipating much and was looking forward to was the ability to uh, actually have a look at the uh, Photoshop files, a preview of Photoshop files. So here I have a quite large uh, Photoshop um, file of 241 megabyte, and I will I just wanted to see whether uh, I can already have a preview off of those uh, Photoshop um, image. So let's head back into the web browser and see whether the preview works. Unfortunately, Photoshop previews do not work as of today. Uh, so it's per probably just some minor bugs at the beginning of the launch of those uh, of this service. And we cannot preview the Photoshop file. But let's have a look at Illustrator files and see whether that works. So let's head back into our pictures folder and open up the uh, Illustrator file that I've uploaded into the Google Docs. And there it is. And it shows us a beautiful preview of that Illustrator file. Obviously, it is only a preview, so there is no high resolution available here. But uh, for pre purposes, this is obviously enough. So um, it is Google Drive is definitely very powerful. It is basically Google Docs on steroids, if you will. So I really hope you like this video and if I could help you making your decision whether you want to use Google Drive or not, please leave a comment and tell me how you are using Google Drive and how it integrates into your workflow. This is Mauricio Prinzlau for cloudbackuping.com signing off.